Hello and welcome to the finale of my gameplay of the Great Hill Incident. I'm really excited to see how this game ends, so let's play. Super careful. Oh my god! Maybe I should turn around. Answer? God damn it. Please pick up the phone. Yeah. Uh, hey. My name's Ryan. I'm calling from Grey Hill. Your friend Depone gave me this number. He. He's dead. I'm. I'm sorry. He told me that he came too late and that I should call this number. Depone is dead? Ryan. Did he tell you about using tinfoil? And if so, do you have enough? I have a lot. Yeah, I got it. Listen, they took my son. He's on board one of those fucking ships. A pwn said you can help me. Yeah, I can. Now listen to me and do what I tell you. Wrap your entire body in the tinfoil. Completely cover yourself head to toe and let them abduct you. I know this sounds crazy, but if you want your son back, you have to trust me. Uh, seriously? Yes. Ryan, trust me. Who exactly are you? And how do you know this works? You hung up on me! Fuck. This is the most stupid thing I've ever done. All right, that's it. God, I look like an idiot. Flying by? We got the plane working. Hell yeah! The phone said this plane won't work. We have to warn them. Amy, can you hear me? Matt, Matt, can you hear me? Mm. Oh, fuck. I'll try it again later. But where's the plane? I don't hear them anymore. Oh, I think it's over here. Okay. Oh, what? Jesus oh Christ. Oh, God, those are ships. It's a goddamn UFO parking lot out here. I'm gonna have to go around them.
flying saucers are scary. Yeah, okay? I'm good. But something is wrong with Amy and Matt. They started the biplane to rescue Henry, but I don't know where they are, and I can't hear the plane anymore. We might have been taken by those things. Hey, where are you? What's your plan? I'm pretty close to Brandon's house. This detour took way longer than expected. I hope he's okay. I don't have time to explain everything, but this cop I met, they got him. He's dead. He was Ryan. sent to warn us by a mysterious man, who I contacted, and he told me the only way to rescue Henry is to dress up in tinfoil and let them abduct me. I know, I know, it sounds crazy, but if it's the only shot I have to get Henry back, I have to try. Yes, that could work. Well, at least to avoid them going into your brain. I'll guide you once you're in it. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Make sure you get your van up and running. Once I get Henry, we'll drive out and meet with the mysterious man. He can help us figure this all out. Wait, Bob. That... that sounds like Amy's walkie. That's Amy! Amy! Amy, are you there? Amy! I can't hear you! Can you hear me? I hate this. Henry! I'm coming for you! God damn it! Fuck! No! Please, no! God! You gray bastard! Get your fucking fingers out of my dirty ass! Uh, was that Brandon? What the fuck are they doing to him? They think they're all on the same ship. What in the hell should I do now? Let's see. Could, like go down farther. Is that a dead one? Ew. It's like a probe. This is Mr. LaFletch's house. What was his name again? Matthew! Are you here? Okay, maybe we have to go over here to this house. That's so creepy. Can I get over here? I don't think so. It looks like somebody's backyard. Okay, let's go this way. That was what? Brandon's kid. She's still in the house. Is this the house? Or this one? I think I'm going in the wrong direction. This way? That was a creepy ass scream. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like a house. Okay, let's see if we can get in here. This house is huge. Dead one. Ew, look at its tiny feet. Ooh. Can I open the door? Shit. Okay, let me 
something to help us. Actually, that's creaking. Damn it. I need to find something to break this door. Wow. Swings. Okay, I think it's here. It's... Did it. Okay, so we're inside the house. It's so dark. Some bottles. Is this the door? There's some bullets. door. Ooh. Oh god, this could be goosebumps. Oh, thank god. Load this. Sweet. Okay, we have a few bullets. Vietnam Victory by Brennan Hartman. How a couple of young Americans beaded a whole horde of Viet Cong. Interesting. Oh shit, look at that. It's like barbed wire. Ugh. Why is she covered in tin foil? Rachel! Ryan! Um, what are you wearing? Oh man. I'm so glad they didn't get you. Ooh, what is this? I was hiding under my bed, but they got down. Uh, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. My dad says the government is lying about everything. Well, he's right. But don't worry, though. I'll protect you. I have to get on that saucer to save him, so I'll bring you to Bob, okay? He can mm -hmm. watch after you until I come you back with your dad. You can't protect me? My dad says you're a weakling, and you can't protect anybody. He said you couldn't even save your own marriage. Uh, well, I know he's your dad, but don't believe everything he says. And besides, I killed a few of those aliens on the way over here. And your dad's the one stuck on the ship. Burn! What? Where is your son? Where is Henry? Uh, they got him too. Ryan, that sounds like a car. Who is that? They must be driving through town stopping for gas or something. <laughs> hey, um, you weren't in Vietnam like my dad was, right? No. Uh, no. Well, can you check the window? Why? What? God bless you. The fuck? Uh, Rachel, no, where are you going? What Stay! You? What the fuck is going on with this kid? Where'd she what go? What the hell is Brandon teaching his daughter? Oh my god, I don't want this. Damn, stay low. Dude, how'd she run so fast? over there. Oh. What is that? Is that a garage? Oh, 
No. They got him. She is over there. Rachel! Dude, I have no idea where she is. Okay, she's over here. Where is she? No stamina. What is that? <gasps> it's her toy. That is it. Let them take me. Oh, Rachel, she's still here. Should probably get rid of these aliens before aliens. I open it. Ah! <laughs> 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 Fucking asshole. Shed. Ryan! Ryan, are you here? Ryan! Yeah, Bob! A few of them greeted me some minutes ago, while I was out working on the caravan. Yeah, after taking a photo shoot, I asked them if they wanted to have some coke, but... Bob, it's okay. All good. I got it. Just joking! I imprisoned one in the bedroom, and I put a tinfoil hat on him. I'm gonna make some experiments, but I won't probe him. Bob, I swear. Please stop. Uh, maybe sell him on the black market. We got market. Brandon's daughter, so I'm a little busy. Uh, what okay. do you need? I found a solution to make the caravan work. It'll take me a few minutes to oh, get it done. Bob, that's great. That's what I needed to hear. It'll be our chance to get out of this town. I have to save Rachel first. She's trapped in the barn by the gas station. I'm going to get her, then we can make a plan to save Henry. Yes, Ryan. We have to be fast with Henry. God, I hope they didn't start drilling into his teeth. Bob, can you not say shit like that? I don't even want to think about it. I heard Brandon causing trouble for them on the saucer through Amy's walking. I think they're all Drinking? Okie doke, bye Ryan. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's two here. If I stick to the edge, they won't see me. Can't 
Let's see. Oh yeah, he's scanning stuff. Rachel is in there. Why the hell did they use a bike chain to lock the gate? It's crazy. Gonna have to find some bolt cutters or something to get through there. Why can't anything ever go smoothly? Stick to the side. <sighs> I am so scared right now. Come on, open the fucking door. There she is. <sighs> oh, Rachel, I'm here. <sighs> you almost hit me. <laughs> Rob, I've always wanted to see. Glad that. you're here. And the caravan's working. Yes. I'm gonna put Rachel in your bedroom. She needs rest. Bob, seriously. You imprisoned an alien. I, I told you I did it, down? Dude. Just lay her on the carpet. But again, I didn't probe him. Didn't probe him. Just put a tinfoil hat on Ha ha. So funny, Bob. I think he's one of their dentists, not one of their butt drillers. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, Bob. I'll go out and try and get its attention. I need to get it to abduct me. It's my only shot at getting Henry back. Well, Drive to Nevada that. and take Rachel with you. I literally have goosebumps. I think that's where our mysterious friend is. I'm gonna work with your mysterious friend together to bring all this to the public. All right. His number is five 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 zero one nine nine. Call him as soon as possible. Today, running it down. Bob. All right. I gotta go. Thank you. Stay safe. Hey, uh, Ryan. You know. You were the only one who didn't think I was crazy. Thanks for that, man. I love you. Hey. <laughs> Which way do I go? This way? <gasps> Holy shit, it's right there.
isn't working. Henry? Henry? There's no way. Does he does he stay in there? I'm really confused. All right, see ya. Oh my god. Oh my god, he got beamed up and that's it. Oh my god, you don't make it as Ryan and you don't save Henry. Is she even Rachel or yep. is she an alien? It have worked out pretty good for Rachel and me. Uh, I hate that we don't know what happened on the UFO to Ryan and the others, but... Well, after Ryan was abducted, his dog Max came along, and together we're now on our way to meet this mysterious man. I mean, that was the Greyhill incident. Time for a new book, yeah? God, I hope I'll find the publisher this time. Rambling again. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourself. Catch you on later down the road. Hey, Rachel. What was your favorite part about the story of Grey Hill? Bob? Who are you just talking to? That's so cool, they think hollow. Okay, so overall, I thought that Great Hill Incident was a pretty cool game. Aliens freak me out, so I thought it was really scary. I'm a little bit torn about the ending, though, because I didn't expect Henry and Ryan to both be taken, and that's it. And the fact that they're on their way to go meet the mysterious man, I feel like he's not actually going to help them. Maybe he's going to get them kidnapped, too, because he's the one that gave Ryan the tip to wrap himself in tinfoil and let, him, let himself get abducted, and you see how that turned out. I wonder if they'll make another game or if it's just gonna be like a solo, like a solo, like one-off game or something. Either way, I thought it was a really cool game and I had a lot of fun with it.